Good afternoon. Happy Saturday night. Um, the slump music. You know what I'm saying? I have another tutorial that I want to... I have something I got to talk about. All right. We're going to talk about the, the difference between the Reason Rack and the Standalone. Now, in the, in the Standalone, you have your instruments there, and you also have your instruments inside the rack. But the difference is some of these instruments that you have in your standalone are not in your rack so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go through it and um let you guys see um what's in the rack like i see so you'll know what's in there what what's not in there now if you look at my page on both sides i got this is my instruments here from the rack and this is my instruments right here from the standalone. Now, everything lines up the exact same way in order. So you can easily tell what is what. I mean, so I'm, I'm scrolling down and I see, I mean, I'm right here at the grain and I see right there, it's the grain. So I go up to where that's at right there and I say, okay, well, let me keep going down to see if everything else matches up. Okay, everything's looking good right there. Now you have... Okay, everything's still looking good. See, everything's lining up exactly the same. Just going up a little bit more. And bam, there it is. That's why we do not have the MIDI working inside of the rack. We don't have this rack right here in there. This is the eternal MIDI instrument right here. We would need this here rack inside of the we need this we need that inside of the rack to make to make this MIDI up here work. To make this work. If you notice at the top of the rack, it, it's already made it out. I mean, 1 through 16. Um, the way I can see how this here is set up, like, they got the buttons right here. It says to main. So if you click, if those buttons are on right there, whatever you got on those tracks, they're going to come out the main 1 and 2 output. Now, the way I'm seeing this now, if, if they're not checked to main, then these MIDI channels should go out and be able to be routed into, you know, whatever, Logic, Ableton, whatever. I mean, they should at least be able to be be able to be routed out to Ableton on, on individual tracks. Once they, I mean, like, literally, you should be able to, like, stack a lot of these here instruments right into the rack other than it layering it itself with the different instruments these here are really supposed to be routed out. You, you even see, like, I mean, each one have their own um, meter on there as well. So, all right, I was going through there. I see that right there. First thing first off the top, this external MIDI instrument is not inside of the rack. That's where it ends right there for my pellet software. Um, you guys might have a lot more than I have. So you're gonna see a lot more. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into to see what the players are. If all the players are there. Okay, everything is there for the players. Um, let's check the utilities. So there are quite a few of them missing out of there in the, in the utilities. So the highest I see that I have is this this line mixer six two. But there's um, you got this here this mix channel and you got this um, audio tr audio track, but. I mean, they're not going to give you that right there because that would just make it just the the standalone, I guess, with those right there. 
but um, I can see using that mix channel for something. But um, let's see, that's utilities. That's going to effects. And let's see um, if the effects are all the same and what's in the rack and what's not in the rack. So in the effects, um, so far everything looks like it's lining up. channel dynamics and okay that's all looking good right there everything's lining up distortion all right then I'm down to the two band EQ all right so all, all the effects it seems like everything is there other than the MIDI and this is the only thing that's really stopping everybody from uh, routing routing this here out because there's nothing you can do to it I mean if you click on it um, it ain't gonna do anything you go to the rack the back of the rack everything right here that you do put in there it's gonna automatically route into the rack So as you see, those just keep lining in right there. I mean, then you get your side chain right here. And you're out one and two. I mean, so it seems like the way everything just goes in and two there and comes out one and two, which um, these right here should be able to be routed out. Everything that's going on these individual tracks right here should be able to be routed out through three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you would think that you got those there and you you'll be able to go over here to to Ableton and these channels you see like right here it says rack reason rack plug in one and it shows all the way up to eight so I mean it's missing two. It's missing number two for some reason, but it goes one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's because of Ableton um, reasons or whatever it is. But um, I'm going to try this here just to see what happens here um, when I do that. You got track one and two, so that would be the first channel. And then, anyway, they all supposed to be able to be able to be routed out. That's gonna take some time, really, to be playing around with it to see if I can route that out. But um, I did to see, I mean, what I was just playing with right there, where I had all the reasons out. Like um, right here, I went into. Um, all MIDI in and then I went down right there and you see it says reason rack plug-in so let me see if I put this here on reason rack plug-in 3 now in the rack let me open up the rack so this is reason rack plug-in 3 load something in there all right now when I did that right there since I did put that on reason rack plug in three um, see how they're all like lit up to me let me turn it off so when I did that right there and I put it, I, I changed that to Reason Rack Plugin, um, the MIDI quit hitting on there. So that lets me know that um, using those right there, I'm not getting any, any kind of signal at all. So that's probably the reason why is not you're not able to MIDI the rack up. It's a simple fact that 
this external rack is not in there and I'm wondering why they did not put this here rack in there. I wish I could just take it and drag it in there. Which I'm, I'm, I know you can't. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's a good try. I'm trying to see. I was going to try it again just to see. But I think it's, I, it keeps disappearing every time I grab it. So it's not going to let me do that right there. But I tried. Um, but that's what is missing right there. It's missing the external MIDI instrument, and that's pretty much stopping it from MIDI and up to like you know other dolls and stuff like that. You can really then you'll be able to really um, route those MIDI channels out. But this is slump music. This was something just uh, real quick. I wanted to just um, show you guys what what's the difference between the rack and the standalone, and what was missing and what wasn't missing. Because I was going through it and. Um, I'm, try I'm still trying to figure out this MIDI thing with it, you know what I'm saying? Because um, as soon as that's figured out and it's able to really, with the AU and the VST come out, everything's going to work like it's supposed to work. But, I mean, in the meantime, in between time, I'm trying to get the the best solution I can to keep, to keep my music moving, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is. But uh, this is Slump Music. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.